knew the extent of Narendra Modi's involvement in the Gujarat massacre. But I'm not sure I agree at all with the characterization that the Honourable Gentleman has put forward. A propaganda piece uh, designed to push a particular discredited narrative. Mr. Speaker, last night the BBC revealed the Foreign Office knew the extent of Narendra Modi's involvement in the Gujarat massacre that paved the way for the persecution of Muslims and other minorities we see in India today. With senior diplomats reporting that the massacre could not have taken place without a climate of impunity created by Modi and that he was, in the FCO's own words, directly responsible for this violence. Mr Speaker, the UK Government's position on this has been clear and long-standing and, and hasn't changed. Of course, we don't tolerate persecution where it appears anywhere, but I'm not sure I agree at all with the characterisation that the Honourable Gentleman has put forward. Uh, do note that this uh, has not been screened in India, so uh, I am only going to comment on the context of what I have heard about the, uh, or have my colleagues have seen. Let me just make it very clear, we think this is a, a propaganda piece uh, designed to push a particular discredited narrative. Um, the bias, a lack of objectivity, and frankly a continuing colonial mindset is blatantly visible, if anything. Uh, this film or documentary is a reflection on the agency and individuals that are peddling uh, this narrative again. Uh, it makes us wonder whether um, about the purpose of this exercise and the agenda behind it. And frankly, we do not wish to dignify such efforts.